What's going on guys? We're going to do some maintenance on my box stock and my stock touring today. Um, they both have about, or the box stock has about 2,000, 2,500 laps on it. And the stock touring has about five, 6,000 laps on it now. So we're going to go and do some regular maintenance and see how everything's holding up. Here we have the box stock. Um, we have the wheel nuts upgraded. We have the T-plate upgraded and we have the front springs upgraded. And that's, that's it. Everything else is as it comes from the box. So we're going to do some cleaning on it and see how everything's holding up. Make sure everything's still straight and loose and we'll go from there. So the first thing I like to do is I'm going to take out the diff. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the paintbrush, kind of dust everything off. Oh, lost the wheel nut there. Just get a lot of the grime off. You can already see it's looking much better. So next what we're going to do is we're going to take off the T-plate and make sure that's not bent or tweaked. So now that I got the T-plate off, I just want to take a look at it, make sure it's not bent at all, and you'll be able to see that we're looking pretty good, no tweaks. Another way to check it is push down, it'll be able to move. And it doesn't. So our T plate is good and it is not tweaked. The next thing I like to check is I like to check this upper shock just to make sure that it is not bent or everything is still loose and everything is good. So the way to do that is I take off these two screws and this screw and the whole thing comes up and you'll be able to tell. As you can see here, I have the top shock off, goes up and down freely nothing is bent so nothing will bind up and everything looks good right there as you can see i've taken off the rear end just just be able to clean up a little bit better and a little bit nicer and also the check make sure the motor still spins spins nicely make sure the teeth on the pinion gear are still good and we're not going to be replacing the motor quite yet but that'll be done shortly when we start getting back to racing and not just practicing but now we're going to start taking apart the front end and probably repolish all of the kingpins and all of the axles. As you can see here, we've dismantled everything. Um, we just want to make sure that everything will repolish and everything is nice and smooth and free. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to repolish both axles, both hinge pins, both the kingpins, and we're going to take the balls out and we're going to polish those too. All right, so I have my balls in the drill. Oh, it's just a screw and a nut. I like to take some sandpaper and just run it on the ball first and then take my polishing wheel and polishing compound and then just smooth up the wheel and make it all nice and shiny and nice and smooth so that way the suspension will be nice and free. You'll be able to see what one pass just does. So this is one that I have not done. So you can see here, it does not move whatsoever really solid really sticky and that will cause some handling issues when you go and you put it into the other one that I've already done only one pass on you can already see it's a lot looser it's still a little sticky so I'll do a couple more passes and then you'll see how loose it can get and It'll be nice and smooth. All right, so you'll see here, I did a couple more passes and nice and smooth. Still a little sticky, so I'll do a couple more maybe. But you can see it's a lot looser and a lot smoother than the one we haven't touched yet. All 
Alright, so as you can see, both are pretty good. So next, what we're going to work on is we're going to work on doing the kingpins. So the kingpins, I like to do the same thing, except I just put the whole kingpin inside the drill. And then take some sandpaper to the outside, and then take some polishing compound on a polishing wheel to the outside, and then it becomes nice and smooth. As you can see here, I have two. Left one I haven't done yet, the right one I have done yet. So the right one you can see, it's a lot more free. It's not as free as I'd like it. The left one. Not free at all. So now we're going to go on and polish the hinge pins now that those are nice and loose. And then we're going to start rebuilding everything. So what we're going to do, we're going to put it the hinge pin lightly in the drill. Not too tight to where we're going to crush the hex. And we're not going to turn the drill on. We're just going to take the polishing wheel and we're just going to go around it. Tonight you'll see how it'll turn a nice silver and it'll be nice and smooth. Alright, so here you'll see the difference between a brand new basically hinge pin and a polished one you'll see how one is a lot more silver than the other one and that's what we want on just like that one now that we're all done we can start reassembling everything and check to make sure everything is free and nothing is binding up. all right so you can see here got the whole front end back together and there is no binding everything is nice and smooth be nice and good so one reminder if you're when you're rebuilding this if you're like me and you hardwire the transponder um, one thing I've seen people do is they make a little small little incision right here and they'll make another incision right here in here and what they'll do is they'll actually run the wires inside the car just to make it a cleaner look and everything and also one thing it does is it makes it so that way the wires don't actually interfere with the top shock. So one thing I like to do personally for my track and my driving style is there's a little screw in there that holds the shaft on and screws into the eyelet. So in the box thought class, you're not allowed to change this top shock. But what I like to do, because I, like I want it to be a little bit stiffer, is I actually go and I unscrew it just a tiny bit. And you'll see here, if I can get it there are some threads showing. So box stock, they come with them all the way in. If you extend it and make it longer, it'll actually make it a tiny bit stiffer and it'll give it a little bit more rear end grip. One thing I like to do with the gear diff is I like to take the gear diff apart, which is just removing a little C-clip right here. Then the cover comes off and the gears come out. Is I like to take just a little bit of diff grease and I like to put it on the gears and all it does is it makes the mesh a little bit quieter and it also makes the gears last a lot longer and just helps them out all in general all right and there you have it a freshly rebuilt gone through polished car I did not do any of the bearings because I had just done the bearings before and there are a million videos on the bearings so no point in doing them but all the bearings were done in the both the tires the rears and in the hubs so other than that thank you guys like subscribe and i'll see you guys later